Hi everyone. Wow, it's been a while. So I just wanted to pop in and uh, I've been kind of talking all day to some people and it inspired me to do a quick video just to kick off the week and kind of talk about why I've been so silent recently. And so before I get started, I'm Shauna Yao. I'm a best life strategist and I, am, I just wanted to give you a little update on what's been going on with me and um, just help you understand why we exist or really from my perspective, why we are here on this earth. And so uh, if you wanna share this video, please share it. You can share it after to see if it's worthy of being shared and uh, please like it so that I know that you're out there and that you exist. And so I wanted to do this video partially because uh, some tragic things have happened uh, recently in my life. I re um, a couple days ago, one of my childhood friends uh, died kind of suddenly of um, pancreatic cancer and it it rings in my ears uh, and in my head daily about our existence. And I know that sounds really deep, so if this is too deep for you, this may not be the video for you. But in fact, um, you know, we are all born for a reason. And that reason is not to live in struggle, um, not to um, try to have as many friends as possible, not to try to make money. All those things uh, happen and every day when you wake up, uh, there's a lot of things that happen inside of us that I just kind of wanted to briefly explain in case you aren't aware. Um, life ha happens very quickly and uh, it kind of happens before your eyes. And so I just really want to get started with why I've been absent and then I'm going to go into why we all exist. So I, I was doing Facebook Lives for a while and I sort of fell silent um, to gain clarity in my own mind. Uh, I found myself uh, a couple months ago um, after my hip replacement just being very unsatisfied with where I was in, um, in my life. And so maybe you can relate. Uh, you, you know what you do, you know, I'm a business strategist, I, I've been doing business for 28 years, blah, 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 go on and on and on. And uh, inside your mind, uh, you, you know you're really good at what you do, and then every day, you show up and sometimes things are going really great and sometimes you're like, what the hell? Like, why am I even doing this? No one's really listening, who cares? Um, wow, I don't feel good about myself. <laughs> what, what is going on? And then the day ends and then you wake up the next day and uh, it's like this up and down cycle. So if you can relate, you know, don't worry, you're not alone because a lot of people go through that. But I was just in this like spinning cycle of that. And I was just very aware of it. And when I had my hip replacement, I was thrown out of that. And it kind of shook things up. And sometimes big events like that are, are, well, really always, I believe. Those big events are um, what Oprah calls those whispers that we hear. And those whispers we didn't hear. And they turn into you know knocks upside your head. And when you don't hear that, they turn into boulders that fall on you. And when you, when you don't pay attention to that, like some major thing happens to you, like me and my emergency hip replacement. But those things happen for a reason. They're not there to tear you down unless you let it. They're actually there to wake you up. You don't want to get to that point because uh, many times people aren't able to get out from under it. But when you do, uh, it's kind of like this exposed light and what it did for me was it reminded me who I was before I started my business before the world of Facebook literally not just before my Facebook world of in business but just before Facebook and before social media really took over I don't know if any of you are old enough to remember you know life before social media 
when we didn't live our lives to try to take great pictures that looked great on picture. And we actually just tried to have a better life. <laughs> and um, so, you know, now life has changed and human behavior has changed. And unfortunately, uh, many people, including myself, our minds haven't evolved to meet that change, to understand what it's like to just live our lives out loud and to see other people living their lives out loud, but it's not their real lives, it's really just kind of like this pictured life, to be talking through your fingers every day instead of actually really talking. And, and that's how life just kind of happens before your eyes. So it's so important, uh, and this is kind of what gave me clarity, was uh, I started to realize, wow, you know, um, this hip replacement was like an alarm for me. Like, I have a health condition. I have a connective tissue disorder, so my thumbs are actually dislocated, and my joints are actually popping out. My rectum has collapsed. I've had three failed surgeries, you know. The truth is, it doesn't even matter about me. But what really matters is uh, nobody gets out of this world alive. This is not to be negative. I'm, I'm just being truthful. And actually, that should be a very freeing feeling. Because, wow, time is passing. And every day that we sit and judge ourselves, every day that we don't do what we say we are going to do, Every day we sit and we plan and we plan, but we never actually do anything. It's another day that just came and went. And you know what? All that planning, if you don't actually do anything about it, nothing happens. And in fact, what ends up happening is that you beat yourself up in your head. And it makes you not do something even more. And then when you emerge, you go and you plan. You go and read books. You listen to inspiration and you think that you're moving ahead, but actually you're standing still. And it is very important that you wake up, that you don't wait for that boulder to come crashing down on you, that you pay attention to all the signs going on around you, that little nudge in your head, something goes wrong. You're like, what the hell? Well, what the hell? Why did that happen to me? Start questioning these things because those are signs. And whatever your beliefs are about the possibilities for yourself and your life are what those signs are going to mean to you, which means that you think, wow, why am I so, so stupid? Why am I such a loser? What is going on? Because sometimes those thoughts come up in my head. You know, when I was five, my neighbor called me chink every day when I walked to school. So I kind of lost my identity then. And uh, our minds are 95% unconscious and repetitive. And so that just has been a recurring theme. So I have to watch for it now, but I'm very conscious that I have to watch for it. So whatever it is, it's, you know, you hear getting out of your comfort zone. That literally means not just like going and like jumping off a cliff. It means pushing yourself to grow permanently. You think you are who you are, but in actuality, there's another side to you that actually is greater. And all those things that you admire in other people, whoever they are, you have them too. But you're just making them really great. And whatever is holding you back is holding you back. So as adults, we now can choose our identity. We choose to live to our highest self because that's already inside of us. We don't have to live to the person that, the things that we think are ourselves. Oh, that's just me. I'm so stupid. Or, oh, wow, you know, those things, maybe they were true in the past and you'll still always have them, but you don't have to focus on them. Wow, you know what? I've always admired uh, fashion bloggers. I was looking at Instagram a, a couple months ago and I was like, wow, you know, why do their feeds look so great? Why do they look so, 
so pretty. I, you know, I wasn't born like that. And then I was like, why is my feed so ugly? Why am I sitting there trying to do the opposite of what I actually like tell other people to do? Which was, I was just putting stuff that I thought was like, you know, business-like. And then I was like, what the hell? Like, that's stupid. When I was I ever one to follow the rules? I didn't build my success in my corporate life as that. Why am I doing it now? So I started to get smart. And I really started to make a decision that I don't just have a business and that's not my goal. Your real job in life, why you exist, is to become the person you are meant to be. Truthfully, it doesn't matter if you have a business or if you have a job. If you're a stay-at-home mom, it really doesn't matter. Whatever your choice is, is your choice. But in the end, your real job is to become the person you are meant to be. That means that that person is your highest self. That each of us were given this precious life. Out of seven billion people in the world, only one of them is you. You were given these failures, these faults, whatever happened to you in your childhood that made you think that you are who you are. And then you live your life beating yourself in your head over these things that you can't control. But now you're an adult and you can control it. And all those things that you hated, that you thought, why me, are actually your gifts. It was actually, you were in the biggest school ever called life school. And when you can use those to teach other people something, whatever it is that you've learned, that you believe, that's what purpose is. Your purpose isn't something you someday discover. Your purpose isn't something that you have to like, you know, strategize and do all those things. Your purpose is what your life has led you to do right now. You just have to understand what your needs are. So, you know, financial needs, your financial needs. How are you going to make money? Is it in a business? Is it in a job? Whatever it is, that's not the end goal. So, you know, many people are like, I want a business that makes money. No, no, no. <laughs> Making money should be assumed. Making a million dollars, that's not assumed, but making money should be assumed. That should be part of your business foundation. Whatever it is that you design that you do should make money. You don't need to design a business that is something that you think will make money. That's not how it works. You have a solid business foundation based on what it is that you believe, and then you design a business around that. It doesn't go the opposite way around, which is what many people do. You think about the business side first, and then you go, well, you know, I'm going to try to be happy in this thing that, you know, everyone tells me I need this, I have to build an email list, I have to do that. Do you have to do that? <laughs> because if you look at the end goal and who you are as a person, and then you take your skills and you say, I know I need to get this information to people. I know this is who I am and I know that's the end goal. I have to charge money for whatever. Then whatever it is and however you get it out to people is, is up to you. Well, people don't, you know, don't listen to me when I do that or, you know, that no one is doing that. Great. You know, nobody used computers before the Steve Jobs uh, created one. Nobody used to like talk into a phone. Phones didn't exist. You know, before Oprah, there was no Oprah. <laughs> I mean, when you really look at it, we're all just kind of like walking around like robots thinking that that's what our lives are about. And then one day we wake up and that boulder has dropped upon us. And then you go, Oh my God, what has happened? And you try to backtrack. Why I exist? 
I exist because that boulder has fallen on me many times. Now, I've had four friends die within a year and they were all under 50. I'm starting to see that I'm here to wake people up. Because I don't want boulders to fall on you. Because it's not fun. And you, your life, your kids, your family, your friends. All this online garbage. Making a million dollars. None of it matters. What matters is when you lay your head on your pillow at night and you say, I did good. I did something that made me happy today. I shared something with someone that made them smile. I told everyone that I wanted to, that I loved them. Who cares if somebody didn't like me? If somebody couldn't hear me? It doesn't matter. What matters is what you think of yourself. So that then when you wake up the next day, you can let go of all the things that don't matter. Life is trying to happen for us all the time. All those signs, all those things, every time life seems like it's not going your way, in actuality, it's trying to lead you to something greater. And you hear that all the time, but you actually need to remember it. And every time you have a great idea and then you don't do anything about it and eventually you talk yourself out of it, that great idea was meant to happen. It could have been like your next thing, but you didn't do anything about it. And all those times that you beat yourself in your head. You know what? How you can change that? You just start speaking about it. You share that. Wow. I can't believe that I spent today kind of having a shitty day. How's your day going? And you start being real. And then we can all start being real. <laughs> Rather than trying to look good for a picture. If you live up to your highest self, you just understand that you're meant for something greater inside of you. And you know you are deep inside. When my clients come to me, when I talk to people, everybody like has this vision in our, your head. It's now, you know, time for you to act on that. And you think, oh, I can't take that risk right now. What risk? You know what the risk is, is not doing it. Waking up tomorrow, another day goes by, 10 years go by, and a boulder has fallen on you. So I want to help you just some simple things that you can do to make sure that you get on track and you don't wait. Just easy, simple things. Number one, wake up early. Set your alarm. Go to bed, go to bed. Your money hours are between the hours of 10 to two. I don't go to bed at 10, I go to bed at now 12, 15. That's so much better than my one o'clock. Go to bed and sleep at night. Literally, sleep. Wake up. When you're wake, set your alarm, I know I wake up at six, set your alarm, get up within an hour of waking. First of all, drink 
eight ounces of water because your cells are dehydrated and otherwise if you feel panic your cortisol goes off second of all within an hour I don't care if you have to wake up at four to do this go outside go for a run walk whatever I take my dog for at least this is very minimum 10 minutes I recommend 20 to 30 and bring some sort of music that inspires you a playlist you know uh, people like Tim Ferriss and uh, people I can't think of other people's names but but there's uh, many people and they listen to the same song over and over and over again I used to think I was like insane because I did that but in actuality it's it's like a auditory meditation for your brain and go on your walk run and focus on your success identity what it is that you want for your life not your to-do list but what it is that you want for your life who you are who is your highest self and then let your mind like go from there what all that does is it shuts down your stupid thinking brain the one that judges you and because of the auditory and your thought combined with movement in your endorphins it creates new neural pathways in your brain in your brain around your success identity around your confidence around your focus do that before you get online before you get on your computers before you get on your phone so you can remember who you are every day before you're influenced by other people. Go home. This is an extra step, but I, I recommend this. Have a coffee or a tea with a tea, teaspoon of high quality coconut oil. Our cells are made of fat and you need that to empower your brain. And then have a mission. <laughs> it not not just everyday mission, but a mission. Like, what is it that you want for your life? If you're not doing something every single day towards that thing that you want in your life, you will never do it. Someday does not exist. Life happens. Have a mission for your life. Decide who you are why you think you exist and what you want in one year, in three years, in 10 years. What is the life that you want to be living? Because if you don't plan it, you will never have it. And you know what? It's not the end goal. That's not your success. Your success is waking up every day and saying, I'm so glad I'm alive. I'm working towards my goals and I'm making every day amazing, even when it's not. You have a life to live and it's called today. So I have a family obviously calling me. <laughs> I just wanted to share that with you because uh, as I said, you know, I've been absent for a while, but I'm back and I'm not going to shut up. <laughs> so uh, I want to help the people I'm meant to help and that's not everybody. And I totally understand that and I get it. But if you want to even watch from afar, but learn. I put the link below for the daily magazine. It's where I write every single day. I'm sharing information about business, holistic health, and defining your personal style. In other words, how you express your identity in this new social media world. I guess it's not so new, but <laughs> every day is new to me. But uh, your personal style, as I refer to it, is really uh, how you, your expression found in the ways that make sense to you. You know, what you wear, 
uh, how you show your face on Instagram, on Facebook, and what is your best face forward? How can you attract more people that get you? Not everybody, it's not the quantity, it's the quality. So anyway, uh, have a great night. If you wanna share this, I would greatly appreciate it. Please subscribe to The Daily. Um, as you, as th those of you that are subscribed know I'm not a big emailer. Uh, I don't, I, I'm really like, you will never get a daily email from me. God help me. <laughs> if, you, if you ever want me to unsubscribe from something, send me a daily email. Anyway, that's it. Have a great night, everyone. I'll talk to you later.